to the record as ever. Crank photo and one added to the court record. By the way, I can't quite tell the cause of death in this photo. <laughs> Your reputation for safety is well earned, Your Honor. The truth is that the victim died a rather unusual death. An unusual death? What do you mean, Mr. Payne? Well, perhaps the defense would like to take this question. Huh? A simple question. I thought I might loosen you up a bit. I am a genteel man, if you will. Uh, a what? Stand up for him. Stand up to him, Mia. Show him what you're made of. A perfect opportunity. Well, what is it? The calls. Go on. Please say you know not worry that much. I'm sorry, I didn't get the chance to read through the whole file. Well, my hemorrhoids are beginning to act up. Now, see here. The details of the case so filed under the court record. But you all knew that already, didn't you? Ah, the court record. I think I can see that by touching the court record button. Of course, the other weapons we need can be found in the court record. Take a good hard look at the data there and think carefully before you answer, my dear. Yes, sir. I'll do just that. I've got to stay calm. At least I can't let the prosecutor get the better of me. The court record. Okay, let's take a look. I'll just touch the court record button here. Now then, would the, de would the attorney for the defense please answer the question? What was the cause of death? Well, seeing what that was raining and there were wires everywhere, I would say execution. But let's mess with the courts for a little bit and say it's asphyxiation and then hypothermia. Because, you know, there's no green bar at the top of the screen, so... Well, if you... You'll find that it was a case of asphyxiation. Hmm. Asphyxiation, huh? Mio, what are you saying? Well, it's stuffy in here. I can hardly breathe. No one's asking how you feel. Please make sure to properly read the court record. I'm so sorry. I'll take a better look. Hang in there, Mia. The the court record with the court. Open the court record with the court record button. <clears throat> I'll ask you once again. What was the cause of death? Ah, uh, hypothermia. Um, hypothermia, I believe. <laughs> Awkward silence. That is so funny. Okay. Uh, Mr. Grossbug? Why do I suddenly... F Why does it suddenly feel very cold? Does it suddenly feel very cold in here to you? That's because your, your absurd reply has brought a chill into the courtroom. I'm so sorry. Look at the court record button more carefully, would you? How close do you expect to win a case this way? Hang in there, Mia. Open the court record with the court record button. Hmm. I'll ask you once again. What was the cause of death? Yeah, third time's a charm. Electrocution. According to the court record, it was a fatal electric shock. In other words, electrocution. Electrocution? Hmm. How could this... How could such a thing happen? Did the murderer use some type of new super powerful stone gun, perhaps? The answer will be, to that will become crystal clear as this trial proceeds, Your Honor. 
Before that, there's one more vital issue. What's, what's that? My motive, of course. Apparently, there's some bad blood between the victim and the, and the defendant. Bad blood? Now look what you've done. Now we got bad blood. Ow. Not really the best Taylor Swift song, but yeah. What do you mean? Oopsie, I'm terribly sorry. It's not as good as um, Shake It Off or no, or No Story if you just say yes. You're the defense attorney, so you must know all about it. I shouldn't, I shouldn't be stealing your spotlight like this. I really don't like the uh, this uh, guy's smug attitude. Stop throwing some pain for you. There's a small old operator as you touch my glove. And I tilted the camera again. I'm sorry about that. They don't, they don't call him the rocket Cow for nothing, you know. Now then, let's hear from the defense. What was the source of bad blood between the victim and the defendant? And this time, I would like to see some supporting evidence. Evidence? No need to get worked up over this. As I said, all our weapons can be found in the car truck. Find the evidence you need and then shove it into the old Gabriel's face. Yes, sir. Shove it into the old Gabriel's face. If the runners is clearly lying, you. When this is clearly lying, so I'm gonna throw you off your case. I forgot the rest of the lyrics to the um to that one uh, turn about musical song. Uh, um, Mr. Grossberg tried to set a better example for the young lady. You know, I want to say isn't the only thing in the court's record. People's profiles are there as well. You can talk between profiles and reference. So be sure to go over it all. Now then, let's see what you've got. What was the cause of bad blood between Phoenix Wright and the victim? Let's see, autopsy report. It says... It doesn't say anything. In the profile? Well, the only other person I see on here. I mean, the DSA you can see. Right there. Right there. That one right there. And now we got bad blood. And I tilted the camera again. I'm sorry about that. The reason for the bad blood between the two of them was this woman here. Dolly a <clears throat> No. That's not the voice. That is not the voice, man. I'm sorry. Dolly a Hawthorne, is it? Yeah, your brother knows about her. Very good, Miss Faye. You seem to have picked up on at least this much. Oh, shut up, Winston. This woman is the girlfriend of the defendant, Phoenix Wright. But up until, a up until eight months ago, she was with the victim, Mr. D Mr. Swallow. She clearly has some part to play in this in this story. 
<laughs> oh, he's gone at again. Before the cross examination starts, he already, he's already got the judge thinking like he wants. Very well, Mr. Payne. Please call your first witness. If it pleases the court, the prosecution would like to call Mr. Phoenix Wright himself. What? The, def the defendant himself? Well, Miss Fay. Well, Miss Fay. Uh, it's fine. After all, Mr. F Mr. Wright is innocent, right? The defendant has no objections. Very well. Very well. The court calls Mr. Phoenix right to the stand. Yes, it's, it's Phoenix's first time in court. <laughs> and now on good terms, I... This time around. Witness! Witness! Please state your name and occupation. Oh, oh, yes. My name is Phoenix Wright. My job is, uh, what? Oh, no, I guess I'm a suspect. Oh, no, no, no. You mean, you mean what did you do before you were arrested? Oh! <coughs> <coughs> I was a university student. That's right. You understand that you're a suspect? But I didn't do it. I never said I'd tell you. <laughs> the, the defendant, what the defendant, please refrain from p passing on his coat to the rest of us. It seems the witness has something he wants to say. Mm, well then, Mr. Wright, please tell us about your relations to the victim. How's it going, Your Honor? The victim and I. Um, I... I would know that was there. But I'm not the killer. All I did was find his body. I really knew the guy to begin with. I never even really talked to that stuck of British wannabe. Hmm, I see. So you hardly knew the victim. Right, like I said, I'm not a killer. Ooh, it looks like the judge understands. Hmm. You're being naive, you know. Too naive. Huh? <laughs> it seems you've forgotten one small thing, young lady. And what would that be? The witness has to, to undergo something called cross-examination. Cross-examination? Right. It's, and, it's to, and it's the defense to do to, to carry out the cross-examination. The purpose is to determine if the witness's testimony contains any contradictions. Contradictions? If the witness is lying, their statement will conflict with court record. But Mr. Wright is my client. The witness is clearly lying to throw you off your case. To find a contradiction and to rub in his smug face. And after you have made your careful selection, present evidence as you aid and yell, objection! That's, that's the lyrics I, that I was talking about in the in the previous video. Well, earlier, anyway. Even if he is your client, in court, all eyes must be struck down. As a lawyer, it is your duty, you see. What is that? What does he mean by that? Is he, to, is he saying that that testimony just now? There's a contra There was a lie? A contradiction? You may now cross, may now cross examine if you please. Now then, your cross examination if you please, Miss Faye. 